Okay, we're recording. This is Greg Pound for Sheriff 2012. We're rec recording Keith Dickerson. Dickerson. He's going to tell you of how he was arrested for trying to get in. He locked himself out of his own apartment. He got arrested for breaking into his own apartment. And then he had the manager of the owner of the of where he was renting come into court, and they still won't listen to him. And um, so go ahead, Keith, tell us what in the world's going on here. In 2010, I had a disagreement with my, my girlfriend, and we had an argument. She picked up a baseball bat and swung it. I missed the baseball bat trying to grab it, and it did pop me in the head, and uh, my resting picture show a big lump on top of my head. Okay, I was able to, she swung it again, and I was able to knock it down, be able to grab the bat, but in doing so, I had to hit her in order to stop her from beating me with this baseball bat. I was arrested and in jail for 22 days. They charged me with breaking in and entering of an occupied dwelling and domestic battery. Okay. The owner of the apartment complex, the owner, had to come into court on my behalf and told them, told the state prosecutor, the judge, the state of Florida, that this man did not break into the place that he lives in. He lives here. The state said, Your Honor, he broke into the place. The, the, the judge, Judge Andrega, had to tell him, said, Look, the man just came into court testifying the man lived there. Okay, so they, they threw that case out. They still charged me with domestic battery, which public defenders, PB, PD Waters, came in and told me, took me in the back room and said, Your judge, Judge Andrega, is a racist. He doesn't like black people. And if he had if he had any black friends, he wouldn't want him to go in front of Judge Andrega. And then on top of it, he said they're going to put 10 white women that sit back and watch Oprah all day long and put me in jail for a whole year. <laughs> I said, for what? I'm the one that was assaulted. Uh, she was not arrested. Miss Waters was not arrested. I said, then I, I, I go to court. I came out of court. I pleaded to it because I was scared to death. Thought they were going to put me in jail. I never left the courthouse. I went straight down downstairs because I had 30 days to w withdraw the sentence, which I did. And it was up to Judge Andrega to dismiss the case or to give me a motion to have a trial. Well, he denied that, even though I came right into court. And as soon as I told him what, what the public defender said, the public defender ran out of the court courthouse. He never admitted it, okay? But the judge knows that's what he said. That's why he's not up there now in Judge Andrega's courtroom. He's not no longer working there. And now I've been going fighting through this. It's all about money. I have to pay. Oh, these guys are criminals, man. I have to pay five hundred dollars and take a domestic class in order for my county attorney, because the public defender's office can't represent me anymore. The public defenders they can't even touch me anymore. So I had to have a county attorney. A county attorney came in and said, "Your Honor, this is not fair because of the fact he was hitting the head with a baseball bat. I have a right to defend myself, but Trayvon Martin didn't have a right to die because of the hands of Zimmerman. Okay, he had no right." But here, I don't have a right to defend myself against a bat-wielding uh, young lady who hit me in the head and my arresting pictures show a lump on my head. I didn't beat her up. I took her back from her. She was not injured or nothing. She was mad because I told her I was going to leave and never wanted to see her again in life. So she called the police. And now this is what I'm going through. And this is two years later. I've been off of probation for over, two, over a year now. Off of probation. And still, I have no trouble. And still... I'm still fighting the same case. Oh yeah, man. and I have to come back all the way in August again. Oh, this yeah. man, I tell you, I've been here five times for the same charge. Okay, they don't know what to do. About five it. times for the same charge. Five, six times. They're they, all getting paid. They're all getting day. money. This it's is where all, all the money's money. going. You are guilty until you're proven innocent in this country. Okay, they talk about freedom of speech. There's no freedom of speech when you get charged and you go in front of the judge. You can't even open your mouth. And this is a free society. This is a police state country. They can say whatever they want to yeah. say. And I'm sick and tired. If I had my way, I'd leave this damn country. I live on an island some damn way. Away from this damn bullshit. <laughs> hey, listen, their, their, their plans are, are putting as many people as they can in, in, in prison. It's a shame what they're doing to you guys you know, because, man, they're, they're taking you guys out one at a time, man. Sure. They're talking about drug dealers. Oh, come on, come the darn on. pharmaceutical country, companies in this country are the drug dealers. They're the real drug dealers. Yeah, yeah, you and got they're supported it. by the by the court system. You so got I have it. all these people out here hooked on these darn drugs. I'm not hooked on anything. Amen. Nothing. I said, but well, every time you turn around, they're in, they're in jail for, for for pills that the pharmaceutical company keeps pushing to these darn uh, doctors that actually sell the pills. Look at how many doctors and, and, and pain management clinics yeah. that are in jail they're right now. Rich. They're getting rich off of the backs of the darn poor people here yeah. in this country. Yeah. You know, it sucks.
and they need to stop this old crap. Well, the crap. people better do something because, man, it's just getting out of control. Sir, what do you what do you have to say about the situation? All I see, everything is, you know what I'm saying, many times he done been to court. Everything is, it's about money. Um, like you say, you don't have a chance to, to speak your piece uh, concerning yeah, what's going on. You right. can't say nothing. The, the, as they say, it's a free country to speak as as you will it. But when it's time for you to speak, you can't say what you want to say. You know what I'm saying? You shut up. You know, they tell you to uh, be quiet because they do all the talking. Because like I say, <clears throat> they want to put everything as about money. You know, and then they, they're working on the poor people. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got it, they, man. They, they, they can holler about, they can holler about high class, middle class, ain't really no middle class. It's, it's, it's either rich you're rich or poor. Or poor. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then especially the, the people they, they, they get into is the ones that don't have a job. They don't right. give a hoop because you don't have a job. Oh yeah, that's they why they're picking they, on this guy here. They they know they, he, they, want, they, they want they're going to get him they want, either yeah, way. And it's money. like we can't get a job. They sent all the jobs out of the country. You can't get a job. Your Cadillacs now made over in China and sent over here. All our jobs have been moved out of this country, and it's yeah. going to get worse and worse. And the people better get it together. That's why I'm running for sheriff because this corruption is so out of control in this county. I mean, and, and if the people we're supposed to be the government. We've got now running our system of people who are so detached from the people and what we're going through, and they don't care because all they're doing is getting more and more money. And all the plea bargaining that the public defender's office does with the with the people, they serve their own interests. You know, they'll try to persuade you not to right. take something to trial, okay, right. and plead out to it, which they right. did to me, and may be right. fearful that I'm going to sit in jail for a whole year right. based on their counsel, right. telling me that the, my judge is racist, right. they don't like black people, right. and they, they're going to put Tim... White right. women on the jury that sit back yeah. and watch Oprah all day long and put me in jail for a whole oh, year. Yeah. And he said, and if you don't plead to that, that's what's going to happen. I said, for what? I'm the one that was assaulted in the baseball bat, was yeah. hitting, hitting in the head. That's why yeah. you see a lump on my, that was on top of my head at the time. Yeah. And here, it's been over a year and a half that, that I've been off of probation and everything. I'm still coming back and forth to court. As this yeah. man to tell you, he takes me back and forth to court. Okay, because they don't know what the heck. What they're doing? They're waiting for you to mess up one more. They're waiting for well, you to, to for something court. else, right? Miss court, then you're in violation. They're waiting for yep. something. And to hell, the freeze over before right. I do that because right. I'm here each and every time. Yeah. So now I come back. I don't come back here to to the end of August for the same situation again. You know, it's it's just Keep ridiculous. Been yeah. on. But it's ridiculous. what I want to, um, it just came across my mind. Now they have him to do all this here, but you don't see the other party in there. No. The other party is not coming to court. Yeah, because she's not doing it. It's the state exactly. who's doing it. The state is yeah. using him as a customer. So, so He's being used by the state prosecutor, and they're going to drag this guy and drag this guy, and they got a yeah. guy, got a fish, they got a fish on a hook, yeah. and they said, man, let's wheel this guy in. We'll give him yeah. a little line. We'll give him a little line. He'll go out, and then we'll tighten back up on him again. And that's what they're doing. They're just waiting for something else to pop up on this guy. I mean, all he needs is, is someone on the street to start a fight with oh, him or something God. happens, and they'll use it big time. Sure. They'll oh, just use God. it now to get him deeper in the system. And I don't bother nobody. Right. I, it doesn't matter. Somebody something. can come up and start bothering you with you, yeah, and you and, uh, defend yourself. And your past record. If you have a right. past record, they yeah. use that against you. You got you it, man. Yeah. You, you got it. Believe it. Yeah. You guys, listen, I only have 15 minutes on YouTube. I, I hope we didn't go on past that 15 minutes. Oh, listen, nice. I want to thank you guys very much. And you guys got an email or something you want to give people in the community so they can get in contact with you people? Sure. Tampa Bay Spice. That's Tampa Bay Spice at live.com. Okay, this is this man's. Um, Keith Dickerson. Yeah, okay, you got it. All right. No, I don't have right. No, no, you're fine, you're fine. All right, man, may All the right. Lord bless you guys. Listen, okay. keep the fight up, man. Peace. All right. Okay. All right, bye bye.